Kittens. Today's read aloud is called Around One Log, Chipmunks, Spiders, and Creepy Insiders. It was written by Anthony D. Fredericks and illustrated by Jennifer DeRubio. And in this book, we're going to find out about a rotting log and all the creatures that come to visit it. So we're going to start off by reading a letter from one of the animals that lives inside the log. Around one log. It says, Dear visitors, I live in a great place, a rotting log. This log is an important place because it's home, just like yours. Well, maybe not exactly, but it provides food, somewhere to sleep, and a place to get out of the rain and snow. Us roly polies like to eat good stuff, like dead leaves, rotting wood, and animal poop. Mmm, yum. People call it a habitat. This old log is also great entertainment. I have lots of weird neighbors, and remember, weird is interesting. Some of our neighbors are predators. That means they hunt other animals. And some of them are prey. They are hunted. And some hang around for a long time while others just come and go. Some are huge, but friendly, like the chipmunk. And others are often hungry, like Daddy Long Legs. Whenever we see them, it's time to roll up in a ball. Us really polies like to be up and around when it's nice and cool and dark. Some of our neighbors insist on being up and around during the day. It takes all kinds. But whether friend or foe, we all like our wonderful habitat, our log. We hope you enjoy visiting our home, our rotting, our rot rotting log. Your balled up buddy, roly poly. All right, let's find out. Here stood a great tree with branches high. It flourished and grew up toward the sky. But a summer storm and a lightning stroke splintered the wood in this giant oak. Then a muscled wind blew all around and the ancient tree tumbled to the ground. I hear three sets of rhyming words, my friends. I hear the words high and sky. They have the same ending sounds. And stroke and oak. And around and ground. This was the tree. Long soaking rains seeped into some spaces. Wide patches of moss spread over these places. Over time, the great tree slowly wasted away. The once mighty trunk, it began to decay. Decay means it began to die. Then ants, worms, and millipedes prowled here and there, while crickets and beetles dashed everywhere. All through the years, this rotting log site was a home for critters both day and night. Can you find the ants, the worms, and the millipedes? Can you see a cricket or a beetle? These are the termites that feed on the wood. They chew and devour because to them it tastes good. From top to bottom, inside and out, both friend and foe all ramble about. A quick salamander scared by a sound darts neath the wood and soft squishy ground. He's a neighbor to termites that feed on the wood. They chew and devour because to them it tastes good. From top to bottom, inside and out, both friend and foe all ramble about. Some gray roly polies, rounded and small, hide deep inside tunnels, curled into a ball. It's their home near the salamander, scared by the sound, who darts neath the log and the soft, squishy ground. He's a neighbor to the termites that feed on the wood. They chew and devour, my friends, because to them it tastes good. From top to bottom, inside and out, both friend and foe all ramble about. A soul garter snake in search of some prey slithers and slides 
for most of the day. Above roly polies, rounded and small, hidden deep inside tunnels, curled into a ball. It's their home near the salamander, scared by a sound, who darts neath the log, the soft, switchy ground. He's a neighbor to termites that feed on the wood. They chew and devour because to them it tastes good. From top to bottom, inside and out, both friend and foe all ramble about. These red velvet mites, a hundred or so, swarm over the log on top and below. They live with the snake in search of some prey who slithers and slides for most of the day. Above roly polies, rounded and small, hidden deep inside tunnels, curled into a ball. It's their home near the salamander, scared by a sound, who darts neath the log and the soft, swishy ground. He's a neighbor to termites that feed on the wood. They chew and devour. To them it tastes good. From top to bottom, inside and out, both friend and foe all ramble about. Maybe if you're reading with someone, they can reread you this page and pause the video, and you can listen for all the rhyming words that you hear. There are a lot on this page. Some daddy long legs, like alien creatures, have thin, spiny legs and other strange features. They creep past the mites a hundred or so, swarming over the log on top and below. They live with the snake in search of some prey who slithers and slides for most of the day. Above roly polies, rounded and small, hidden deep inside tunnels, curled into a ball. It's their home near the salamander, scared by a sound, who darts neath the log and the soft, squishy ground. He's a neighbor to termites that feed on the wood. They chew and devour because to them it tastes good. From top to bottom, inside and out, both friend and foe all ramble about. This is the chipmunk who twitters and squeaks, then gathers some seeds and she packs up her cheeks. She springs over long legs, those alien creatures, with their spindy, spindly legs and other strange features. They creep past the mites a hundred or so, swarming over the log on top and below. They live with the snake in search of some prey who slithers and slides for most of the... Did you say day? Above roly polies, rounded and small, hidden deep inside tunnels, curled into a... Did you say ball? It's their home near the salamander, scared by a sound, who darts neath the log and the soft, squishy ground. He's a neighbor to termites that feed on the wood. They chew and devour. To them it tastes good. From top to bottom, inside and out, both friend and foe all ramble about. Year after year, the log continued to rot. Then a class on a walk came up to this spot. One student, she asked to her teacher, she said, Is this log alive or is it now dead? Here are some field notes about all the animals you met in the, in the log in the forest. Um, you can pause the video so you can read up about them if you would like. I hope you enjoyed reading about the log. I want to know what you think. Do you think the log is dead or do you think the log is alive? I wonder. When you're done, here are some activities and projects and some cool ideas that you can do with your family. Um, that the authors and the illustrator have given to you. Some look like you need ingredients. Others look like they can be done without anything at all. Just using your forest brain and thinking about all the things in the forest. All right, my friends. There's the author and the illustrator. Until next time, 
Bye.